I am so excited to be starting my journey on YouTube and I figured what better way to do that than to bring you into our home with a tiny house home studio tour. I am going to take you through the tour and Kobian's going to be our cameraman. Yep. Let's do it. I'm going to show you my office first. Kobian and I both work from home so trying to figure out a way to have an office space for the both of us was obviously really important. So this is my office space. Nothing too crazy. I have my print wall, which I am just building on as I find prints that I love. And then allowing this plant to grow up, but don't judge the tape because I have little hooks coming in the mail to help me let it grow up the wall. This, this is the living room. And this, kitty number one, Rhea, also Maria. She is our baby, our first baby. We got her right after our honeymoon last year. Before we keep going, obviously, the entry space, um, we have beach towels here, Kobian's shoes here. This is like our basket of like sunscreen and just everyday outdoorsy stuff that we need. And then this is my gardening basket, which my garden is a tour for another day. And on to the kitchen. So we have this added little like kitchen caddy. I can like extend the counter because it adds on a whole other unit. And then we have our Lomi composter, which I will talk about in another video as well. We didn't get a washer or a dishwasher or a stove or oven or anything like that. So we did have to get all like countertop units. This is definitely my favorite of the ones that we had or tried, I think, right then? Yeah, yeah, it works yeah. great. Yeah. I also love this and my magnolia like hearth and hand cast iron dishes fit perfectly in it, which is amazing. <laughs> Definitely makes me happy because if you know me, you know how much I love to cook. So having that accessible was really important. I'll show you at least one of the cabinets because we've recently made this one more organized at least. Um, yeah, so awesome. Lots of storage space around here, which is really important when you're living Minimally and tiny. We'll do a little, a little coffee table tour. So we've got some books and games. Okay, this is Ash. We also call her Ashy. She's the sweetest, most cuddliest thing. I just adopted her, what, a week and a half ago. She was a rescue from Lahaina. They found her in the ashes um, at the Humane Society. So that's why they named her Ash and because she looks like Ash. You gonna show us your mountain of plants? Yes. Okay, so also this does not actually go here. It was over there, but it fell and didn't stick very well. So it's here for now until we can get it like hooked into the wall of it. This is Kobian's office space and I'm strategically standing here to cover a whiteboard that has some of his work stuff and information on it. <laughs> I've got all, not all of my favorite plants, but a lot of my favorite plants right here. I think it's my favorite plant space in our house at least. But we've got some plants up here. We've got some plants right here. Here they all covered. Um, hey, look, it's the first picture ever of us. Oh yeah, that is the first photo of us ever. Oh wait, that's <laughs> cute. Ow. Oh. Small. Okay. Um, big person, closet. small house yeah, problems. Big person, small. Kobe is six foot five. If you didn't know that, actually, let me show them. Whoa, focus. Nothing for scale. Big human. Well, there's the wall for scale. Yeah. <laughs> we have our closet, which actually, I feel like, I think one of my most proud things about our house and living tiny or small is how well we have organized things. Um, our closet isn't anything too crazy or insane, but we've got Kobe inside here, and then he has all of the storage space up here for the most part. I just have a couple of cats up there. And then we have like a cube shelf organization system for him here too. And then this side is my stuff that gets, that's like my hanging stuff. And then I will show you my closet after our bedroom. Into our bedroom. <laughs> so this is our bed space. Um, I'm propagating some monsteras. Our bedding is from Etsy. And then we have storage down here. So we store our clean bathroom towels here. And this is like miscellaneous electronics for like camera gear or our movie projector and stuff like that. This is our gear shelf, but she needs some major love and organizing. I need to get some new cubes and stuff to organize it a little bit better. But 
If you don't know, getting things in Hawaii is kind of hard. And then also just not having to pay a lot in shipping too. It's really hard in Hawaii. I guess my closet has three parts a little bit. So I'll start down here. I have four cubes of these. So I have like my shoes go in two of these. And then I have some other clothes for different seasons and trips in these two. It's the rest of my closet. So all of these little storage bins are in my closet. The bathroom, nothing too crazy. I think also one of my other favorite things about our house is like the intricate details of things that I've bought. So like these books are from Etsy. These are from an Etsy shop in like Indonesia, I'm pretty sure. And I just love them because they're different. I like finding different unique things that make our house feel more us. You know, nobody wants to look at a, a kitty litter box, but there's a kitty litter box down there. <laughs> and then this side is my side, that side's Kobe inside. This is just like bathroom storage stuff. So I am going to save the garden tour for another video, but I do just want to show you a little bit of outside. three prong just in the grass okay so this is my garden so I guess I'll tell you a couple of really quick things but I don't want to give too much away because I want to save it for another video but Kobean scored this someone was just throwing this away <laughs> so now this is where I like keep home to like my garden stuff so if I'm not gonna show you I'm gonna save it for another video but Come take a walk through the garden with me real quick. And this is our home. Oh, we could show them our little cooking area real quick. <laughs> okay, I have one more thing to show you guys. It's not cute right so, now though. It's not cute right now. Just my two grills. My Lomi that I showed you inside the house, my composter, this is where we put It needs some updating out here. Yeah, we need some updating out here. But we've been, hey, we've been working on it quite a bit. This looks better than I feel like when we first We got all the junk out of here, so now it's just empty. Yeah. Now we so need to make it. We need to make some plants and plants. Yeah. We have a lot of projects for the property, but yeah. Hobian also scored this for free. Well, that wraps up our tiny house studio tour. I hope that you liked it or feel inspired to live minimally or even more intentionally and get out, feel inspired to get outside and be outside more than you are inside. So I hope that you liked it and I will see you in my next video.